What's up, guys? It's C Dubs here, and this is. I was originally gonna call this series like lessons from a line cook, but let's be honest, I just want to cook some shit. I'm hungry, so we're just gonna get right down to it. No production value. This is just a quesadilla from start to finish. So here we go. I'm gonna move you here like this. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I move you back a little bit. There we go. All right. So what you need? You need three ingredients. Well, I guess four, if you count the two tortillas. Your cheese. I like Colby Jack because it melts real nice. And some butter. Country crock, eh, debatable if it's butter or not, but I like the way it cooks up. So, what we're going to do, first things first, if I can get this thing set right. There we go. So, we're going to go up here. You see this dial right here? This dial right here? Actually, you can. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in real quick. We are looking at this dial right here. We're going to set that to a nice even 6-7, somewhere in between. And while that heats up, you're getting your pan nice and hot. reason why the pan needs to be nice and hot is because once you put your quesadilla down, it's immediately going to start cooking. You don't want to burn it, but you also don't want to stay in here forever. You know what I mean? So, now, we're going to go ahead and take our butter. Flop that bad boy right there. You take your butter knife, you put a swab of butter, country crock, vegetable oil. You actually can cook with vegetable oil, vegetable oil all joking aside, but you're going to take a tortilla. What you're going to do, you're going to sit there and just slap it all over. Just get a nice, you want a nice thick coating. That's how you get a good brown going on. So we'll sit there and we'll do this number. And while the pan heats up, we're also going to slather the other side or the other tortilla too. Just get it up there, nice and thick. You guys see that? Nice and just, just a thick, thick layer of fucking country crop. Next, tortilla number two. Nothing on there. We got to fix that. Slap it on. Smear it all around. And the reason why a thick layer of Butter, country crock, oil, whatever is so important is because it actually gives you a nice buffer of uh, making sure you, you don't burn it, essentially. So we'll go ahead and slap that down like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down a little bit. We turned it down to a four. We have the pan nice and hot. So I put the two butter things together. That way you don't get a sloppy mess going on. And then it's as simple as this. I'm going to pop the cheese open. Boom, baby. Cheese open. Then, you pop this bad boy down like that. You layer your cheese on, like so. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see that. There you go. That's a good, good amount of cheese right there. And we're going to mound it up in the middle simply because what happens when cheese melts? It oozes all over. So, you mound it up in the middle... That way, whenever it does ooze, you know, you don't have it going all over the place because you can't waste cheese. And we'll go ahead and pop this guy right on top like this. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. And then we're just going to sit here and watch it cook for a little bit. So I've been wanting to do cooking videos for a little while here. And I've been focusing on the gaming aspect and the, the music aspect quite a bit. But then I realized, you know what, dude? You're actually a pretty badass cook. And I did that one poached egg episode. And so I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm going to go ahead and show everybody else how I do it. So, next thing's next. Oh, you guys can't even really see. Let's go ahead and drop it down just a skosh. There we go. And yeah, the production value is not that great this time around, but that's okay. So, we're going to sit here. I'm going to let it sit here and just chill. You Ultimately, you just want it to chill. We'll go ahead and crank the heat back up. I turned it down to a 4, now I'm turning it back up to a 6. Why? Simply put, I want it to cook faster. Now, you have your spatula here, your trusty little handyman. You're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure. Now what that, oh you can hear that sizzle too. Once you do that, you can hear the sizzle. And it's going to start bubbling up. Let me see if I can do this while also holding the spatula. So, whoop. My camera skills are not so good. I apologize. I'm doing this thing at an awkward angle. And I'm trying to make sure that it all happens. There you go. 
So you can actually see the melt, the cheese starting to melt. You hear the sizzle, you watch the bubbles of the butter, and then you're just going to sit there and just let it do what it does. I'm going to go ahead and set you down for just a skosh here. You guys get to see whoop, all the action happen. Now, there is a problem. When you put your spatula on, it gets covered in butter. That's okay, because what's going to happen after that? You're going to sit here, and you're going to flip the bad boy over. But, first things first, got to make sure you get your color on here. We don't have enough color, obviously. So, you sit here, and you keep pressing. That cheese is melting super fast. That's another reason why I like the, the Colby Jack cheese, is it melts super fast. And once it gets all gooey, mmm. My goodness gracious, that's the good stuff right there. So we're just going to hold it. Keep holding. You keep holding. You keep holding. You know what? We're going to go ahead and crank the uh, the temperature up. Now, fun fact. While it's sitting here and it's doing what it's doing. Fun fact. You want it to cook faster? Guess what? You crank the heat up. If you're not that confident in your cooking skill, guess what? You keep the heat down. But most importantly, you keep a low heat so you melt the cheese. You want the cheese to actually melt before you burn your tortilla. And then, once the cheese is all melted, then you crank that bad boy up and you let her rip, tater chip. So, let's go ahead and take a gander here. We've got this guy going on. How's she looking now? Ooh, dog, we got a little bit of color. So, we're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait. About uh, 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one now oh you can hear that sk skillet pop Boop. that's what you're looking for Boop. that's what you're looking for right there you see that nice golden brown golden brown and delicious my dog so now now we're on the back side this ain't gonna take very long at all you sit here you press the old spatula down on top of the quesadilla. You have to be careful of the actual pressure that you apply because I am obviously applying a lot of pressure because I'm nervous AF because I'm on camera. But you be careful of the, the pressure you apply because that will cause all your cheese to ooze out. So we're going to sit here and you can, hear, you can hear that skillet pop, 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 sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Now, you're going to wait until that sizzle slows down a bit. I ain't even got to look at it to know, hey... We're, we might be on the cusp of being done. So now I'm going to count down again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to go ahead and do this number right here. Flip that bad boy over. Look at that. See? That's how you know it's done. Done. Turn it off. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. That's how to make a quesadilla. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.